Paperboard packaging is everywhere you look. Milk cartons, cereal boxes, even tissue containers. Created by the Paperboard Packaging Council, Ticket is an innovative education program that teaches students about the role that trees play in the environment. Hello, my name is Brian Hunt, and I work for Southern Champion Tray, which is headquarters in Chattanooga, Tennessee. We're a company that produces paperboard packaging for the food service and bakery industry. We at Southern Champion Tray are so proud to be a part of one of the most sustainable industries in the world. And today I'm excited to introduce you to Ticket, which stands for Trees in the Cartons and Cartons into Trees. This program well, is being brought to you by the Paperboard Packaging Council. And the Paperboard Packaging Council is an association like a business community. It represents all different companies across the country that make up uh, paperboard packaging. This, this packaging is packaging you'll find like in your kitchen cabinets. So go in your cupboard, you'll see cereal cartons. Uh, you may find a toothpaste, toothpaste carton, um, macaroni boxes, or even french fry scoops. It's all of this that makes up our industry that is incredibly sustainable. So my friends and I today at the PPC, Paperboard Packaging Council, are excited to talk to you about trees, paperboard, sustainability, and recycling. So at the end of this video, you're gonna watch us plant a tree sapling into a paperboard carton. This carton can be planted directly into the ground. The carton is a real life look at sustainability. As this tree grows and the carton that breaks down into the earth is gonna biodegrade. As that process occurs, then we can reclaim the tree, take the tree, produce more cartons. And that's why we call it cartons in the trees, trees in the cartons, or ticket as we like to call it. So come with me and all of my friends as we teach you a little bit about paperboard packaging and you'll learn why we're so passionate about trees and paperboard. Thank you. Hello, my name is Neha Mardi and I work for Southern Champion Tray in Chattanooga, Tennessee. We make paperboard packaging for the food service industry. Our products include cake boxes that you see in bakeries, takeout containers that you see in restaurants, and even food trays that you see in stadiums, and many more. You wouldn't believe all the things that trees do for us. Stop and take a deep breath. Trees take the carbon dioxide in the air and convert it into oxygen, which we need to breathe. Have you ever heard of photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is the process in which trees absorb sun, water, carbon dioxide, and minerals, and convert it into glucose, which is also known as sugar, and is food for the trees. Oxygen is released in this process, which is then let off into the air. Repeat after me, photosynthesis. I think trees are really amazing. They can live for thousands of years, which means that they have been helping us for a long, long time. The age of the tree depends on the type of the tree, but the, most trees live for as long as a human. A few trees can live for a few hundred years, like the redwood tree. This bristlecone pine tree in California is the oldest tree in the world. It is 4,852 years old and is still growing. We can tell the age of the tree by counting the annual rings of wood growth. And trees don't only help people, they help animals too, like birds and squirrels and insects too. They create a habitat for, to protect animals. Trees provide shade for smaller plants and people too. When a tree dies, their leaves and branches break down to give vitamins to the soil so that the next tree can grow big and strong. Plus, we make a lot of cool things out of trees. You'll hear about that next. Hi, my name is Heather Davis, and I work for Manchester Industries and Clearwater Paper Company. Manchester Industries is based in Richmond, Virginia, and for over 40 years has worked to provide excellent products and solutions for our customers. Our paperboard is made from pulp a product of trees, which is a renewable, sustainable, natural resource. We are proud to be a part of our customers' process, working with them to meet the changing and challenging needs of the printing and packaging industry. We also focus on awareness 
and the benefits of the green circular economy. Have you ever wondered where paper comes from? You guessed it, our good old friend, the tree. For thousands of years, people have used trees to make paper, diapers, furniture, hair dye, and even gum. Do you eat maple syrup with your pancakes? Maple syrup comes from the sap inside of trees. Can you guess what kind of tree? The maple tree. There are so many ways that we use trees in our everyday lives. Next time you pour a bowl of cereal or open a box of cookies, think of the tree that helped make that box. Next up, you'll get to learn how we use trees to make paperboard. Hi, my name is Beth Geiger and I work for West Rock in Atlanta, Georgia, and we make paperboard and packaging and we also recycle. So we take that paperboard and the packaging and we recycle it and make more paperboard and packaging. So now you know the paperboard comes from trees and I'm here to tell you how we actually make the paperboard. So trees are grown on a tree farm. And if you think about it like a crop, like corn, for example, it's grown on a, on a farm. And once it's ready, the farmer will pick it and then we send it out to the grocery stores. Well, similar to that is how we make, how we think about the trees. We grow the trees and once they're ready, we cut them down, we cut them into logs and we send them over to the mill. And what the mill does is they take the logs in and they chip them up to these little bitty chips. And they take those little chips and then they dump them into a huge cooker mixing bowl and mix them with water and what they end up with is this really watery kind of white slushy substance of all the chips and the water and we use and we send that over to the big old paper machine and paper machines are huge they are three football fields long if you can imagine these machines that make the paperboard the buildings that hold these paper machines are like a quarter mile long so really big machines and we, so we take this white water and we put it, we feed it into the paper machine and it goes through three processes to basically end up as paper. So it starts off as this watery slurry mix. It goes over screens and drains. So then it goes through another section of the paper machine where we wring the water out of it. And then the final stage of the paper machine, which is most of the length of the paper machine are these big drier rollers and the paperboard goes through these big dryer rollers until it ends up at the end of the paper machine and it's actually paper then. So once the paper reaches the end of this gigantic machine, we roll it into these rolls and it's like a big old toilet paper roll and we roll it onto these big rolls and the rolls are huge too. They're like a school bus long. If you can imagine, I mean, they're the size of a school bus and it weighs as much as 20 school buses and we take those huge rolls and then we take it off the paper machine and then we cut it down into smaller rolls and we take the smaller rolls and we ship those to the folding carton plant and what the plant does is they receive the rolls and they cut them down to the sizes they need and then they print them with the artwork that you see like you know, frosted flakes artwork or chick-fil-a artwork and then they cut it to the size of the box and they glue it and that's how you get your packaging Hello, my name is Matt Kearns and I work for Graphic Packaging International in Atlanta, Georgia. At our company, we make the boxes that some of your favorite food and drinks come in. Now that you've learned how we make paperboard out of trees, let's talk about how we've turned that paperboard into packaging or a box. The process usually starts with a customer request. Let's say a pasta company comes to us and asks for a package for their new spaghetti. The package has never been made before. We need to design the structure first. Our structural designer thinks about the unique uses of the package, considers how much product goes inside, what it weighs, and how the package should open and close. For the spaghetti example, the customer wants to see through the box when it's on the shelf. We call that a window. Or maybe it's a heavy toy and needs a super secure bottom. The structural designer will take all of these things into consideration during their design process. After the structure is created, the graphic artist steps in to create the artwork for the package. 
This includes picking colors and text to describe what's inside. A lot of things happen next to make sure the box can be created on our machines. First, we print the design onto a large sheet of paperboard. This is done on a huge machine called a printing press with many colors of ink. Next, we die cut, which means we take a big sheet of printed paper and cut it into the size and shape we need to make the smaller curtains. Die cutting is done by pressing down on the printed sheet with the heavy pieces of wood and steel, which cuts the shape and adds the fold lines to the package. Finally, we go through the finishing process. Here we put glue on the edges of the flat carton and fold it in a certain shape that the customers can use to put their product in. We put hundreds of these folded cartons into an even bigger box and then ship it out to our customers. Our customers then take these boxes and fill them with product. Anything from cereal, to frozen pizza, to candy, to toys, to soda. Each day there are millions of boxes produced around the world. As a structural designer, we get to create new and fun packaging for all sorts of products that end up on the store shelves and in your home pantry. Hi, I'm Lauren and I work for Graphic Packaging International in Atlanta, Georgia. By now you've learned that there are many steps to making paperboard packaging. I hope you'll never look at a cereal box in the same way again. It takes a dedicated team of professionals to make it happen, from the loggers who cut down the trees to the designers who create the artwork for the package. Every job along the way is important and necessary to create an awesome package. In the plant, we have people who make the cutting tools along with people who run the printing presses, die cutters, and gluing machines. Some people are in charge of moving all materials to different departments. We have people who work in maintenance to keep machines running like they should and others who drive trucks to deliver to our customers. In the office, we have salespeople who sell our boxes to customers and people who purchase the materials that we need. Other people schedule what items run on which machines, and we also have customer service professionals who make sure the customers get what they ordered on time. We're always looking for ways to make our processes better, and that's called quality and continuous improvement. We have team members for that too. We have plant managers and other leaders who are in charge of making sure everyone works safely and that the whole plant works together as a team. These are just some of the many cool jobs in the paper and packaging industry. Hello, my name is Danielle Paulson and I work at American Carton Company in Mansfield, Texas. At our company, we make the types of boxes you come across every day. Cereal boxes, macaroni and cheese boxes, and even the boxes your toothpaste comes in at the store, we make those. Now that you've learned how we make paperboard packaging out of trees, let's talk about how the paperboard packaging industry helps our forests grow. An industry is a group of businesses that make or sell similar products. Our industry is paperboard packaging, or boxes. Our industry is special because we use trees, which are a crop just like corn, rice, apples, and potatoes. A crop is a plant or an animal that can be grown and harvested, and we harvest and grow trees. Our industry is committed to helping fill and continue to grow our forests. For every tree that is cut down to make paperboard, five trees are planted in its place. We plant more trees than we use, and because of that, our forests are growing every day. By helping keep our forests growing, we help our ecosystem remain in balance. You're going to learn more about sustainability in a little while. Our commitment to growing forests and harvesting trees is how we help give back to the earth. It's our commitment to sustainability. Hello, my name is Courtney, and I work at Wyckoff Color Corporation in Fort Mill, South Carolina. At our company, we manufacture inks and coatings for the commercial printing industry, which means we add color to the packaging that you use every day, including packaging that's made out of paper and paperboard. When we throw something away, it doesn't magically disappear because we can't see it anymore. It ends up in a landfill, which is a big garbage dump. Yuck. Next time you go to throw away a takeout container, a paper cup, or an old envelope, recycle it instead. Recycling is the process of converting waste or trash into new materials or objects. Recycling is an important part of the paperboard cycle. That means taking paperboard and creating something else with a brand new purpose. Do you know that you can recycle paper up to seven times? That means if you recycle your cereal box, it could come back to you. 
Recycling helps the earth stay strong and healthy. Paper and paperboard packaging are renewable and recyclable, meaning they can be used many times. Hi, I'm Sue Appleyard and I work for Graphic Packaging International in Atlanta, Georgia. I wanted to talk to you today about some definitions. First off is sustainable. Sustainable means that you can meet the needs for today without using up all the resources for tomorrow and future generations. Paper and paperboard can be made again and again, so we know it's going to be around for our children, our grandchildren, and beyond. Renewable means that something can be used over and over and can be replaced naturally. Trees are renewable because we can replant them and grow new ones. Did you know that for every one tree that's cut down to make paper, five more get planted? That means that 1.7 million new trees are added every day. Now recyclable means that you can take a product and break it down to use again, sometimes as a whole different item. For example, a magazine or these newspapers can actually come back as a cereal box. Paper and paperboard are the easiest of all the materials to recycle, so make sure you're doing your part. And finally, when a material is biodegradable, it can break down or decompose into harmless substances. If you were to drop this paper or this box in the forest, eventually, after a few months, it would turn back into wood fibers, like these, and it would become part of the ecosystem. But I hope you would never litter. Some biodegradable materials are compostable, and when they break down, they actually add nutrients to the soil. Think of food scraps or even flower petals that, when they break down, are actually turning into food for the earth. Also, you might want to check out our pulp making activity to learn more about wood fibers. Hello, I'm Ben Markins, president of the Paperboard Packaging Council. Our headquarters is located in Springfield, Massachusetts, but our members are all throughout the United States and Canada. I'm glad you've had a chance to learn about how paperboard is made, about recycling, and about, and about what sustainability means. But I'd like to start at the beginning and help you plant a tree. First, let's take a paperboard carton. Let's gently put the sapling into the carton and then fill the rest with soil. You see, a sapling is a very young tree. And just like you might call a young duck a duckling, a young tree is called a sapling. Because the paperboard carton completely biodegrades, which means it gets absorbed into the earth, you can take your sapling in its paperboard carton and plant it directly into the ground. We call our program TICKET, which stands for Trees into Cartons and Cartons into Trees. So this is a real life example of sustainability. As the tree grows, your carton will break down and completely disappear. Paperboard is a renewable and recyclable resource. And when your family uses the folding carton, the paperboard package like a cereal box, you're participating in creating a better planet, a more sustainable future. And when you're done with the carton, remember it's completely recyclable, so put it in the recyclable bin. Good luck! Hello again! Wasn't that a lot of fun? You got to learn a lot about our industry and about Ticket and Paperboard Packaging Council and all the good things that we're doing in the sustainability world. But now, we want to hear from you. You learned about why we're so passionate about this industry, a sustainable industry, one that is uh, wonderful for our environment. And so I'm gonna invite you to share your sustainability story, your sustainability wish for us. Celebrate with us, celebrate trees, recycling, the earth, all the good decisions today that we make that make our world beautiful for tomorrow. So we, we're asking you to get creative, draw a picture, Take a photo or maybe even a video or write a poem. Anything that your heart desires. Use your imagination. Create something that's extra spectacular. Share it with us and celebrate Earth Day with us. So today we're asking you, your teacher, an adult at home, to visit our website, paperbox.org slash earthday and submit your artwork or whatever creative program you put together. 
Every submission that comes in is gonna be considered for a scholarship. Your school can win a scholarship um, from the Paperboard Packaging Council. So we look forward to celebrating sustainability, trees, Earth Day with you. So, so next time you open a box of cereal or you eat a box of french fries, I hope you think of us. Have a great day.